when you look at the V7000 and the success that it's had in the marketplace. Just over 18 months in the marketplace, 14,000 units sold. Very, very impressive. I think what's more impressive, if you look at the technology that runs on that V7000, we call it the SVC's little brother. And it's the SAN volume controller code with its own disks. More importantly, let's take a look at the, the RAID software that supports the internal disk. That came from the DS8000 class. That's tried and true code, right? So when you're looking at a product that's 18 months old, it's not 18 months old. The hardware is, the software is hardened. It's robust. I get really excited to see what IBM has been able to do with the technology and sharing it across the different uh, product sets. We talk about uh, the biggest explosion in data today, which is in unstructured data. You start to look at the, the challenges of NAS. IBM came out with SoNAS, which is a scale-out NAS device, right? What's significant about that? The file system has been around for 15, 20 years. It owns 90% of the high-performance computing arena. It's a tried and true file system. It's scalable. And what's great about the GPFS underneath SONAS is they've now handed down that technology to the SVC's little brother, the V7000, and that's the V7000 Unified. So now we have a GPFS parallel file system that can now utilize the strengths of the V7000 block disk and present a unified storage array to our customers. What's even more, I think, impressive is now that V7000 array from a file structure basis, it can back itself up. It knows how to schedule itself in TSM to back it up on a file level basis, which is a strength of TSM. You start to look at from a mid-market space, how do I manage the diversity of technology from storage protocols? FCOEs coming out on the V7000. Now you've got Unified with NAS, you've got iSCSI, you've got Fiber Channel. And now, the storage array knows how to back up its, its NAS files by itself. Trust me, you don't want to use NDMP to back up a 100 terabyte NAS space. Customers that do that are not typically happy. That's a really, really strategic advantage that IBM provides.